Hello. Today, I'm going to teach you how to fold a simple pinwheel. It alternates colors if you want to. The There's an inside color and an outside color, so if you make it with double-sided paper, it has this nice, like, flashing effect. Very simple. It's easy to do. It's the same thing. Um, you will need eight sheets of paper for this and I will use the same green and red paper to fold this one two three four five six seven eight and here we go so start the sheet of paper square and the inside color is going to be this color and the outside color is going to be this color and so by flipping it over you can change which colors you want but anyway here we go first you want to fold it in half like a triangle And you want to turn it so the line is facing forward. And you want to fold both edges to the middle, like this. And this. This is formerly known as the kite base. It should look like this. And then you flip it over, and you want to bring this point to the top. Just folding it in half, and you're done. This is it. Very easy. You need to make seven more of these, and so I'm gonna do that right now. There you have it. We have the eight pieces. I made them alternating in color, green, red, green, red, but you can make them rainbow or all the same color, whatever you want. Now I'm going to teach you how to put them together. <laughs> First, you want to take two pieces and you want to flip them over, both of them, so you can see these diamonds. And as you can see, there's a pocket right here. So you want to slip it in so that this edge kind of locks into this edge. And you can see the middle points should go together. So slip that in. And then you want to fold this into here under this. And so that the fold goes from here. And this point goes here. So let me just do it right real quick. And as you can see um, from the front, it doesn't look like anything, even though it's folded right there. So that's what you're looking for. And on the back, it's completely locked and nice and good. And so you want to do that for the rest of the models, uh, for the rest of the pieces. Now the last one may be a little bit tricky, but again, you want to slide it in. And this time you want to grab the other, like you want to kind of flip the layers. Flip the layers, you might have to reposition some other flaps. And then you want to slip this in so that the pocket goes in and this pocket goes in. And so you've gotten the pockets in, you just need to fold these in. So you want to lock this edge, tuck it in, and lock this edge, and there you have it. This is your com oh, almost completed pinwheel. We still have one more thing left to do. We want to tuck each of these flaps, kind of like 
reorientate the papers. And so, it's more like this shape. There we have it, this is the completed pinwheel. You can kind of push on each of these corners to give it a more like round look or like a fluffy look, I guess. And the front looks nice and simple and the back looks pretty good, pretty good too. So I think this is a great model. Hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.